Before we start searching, of course, we want to make sure that we get Millisearch set up properly. And there's a couple of options for you, depending on your preference or, of course, which operating system or platform you're using. Now, I'm on a Mac, so for me, the preference is Homebrew. Let's go ahead and just follow the really simple setup here to go ahead and download this. And then we'll run it and see what happens. So let's go ahead and do a brew update and install Millisearch and just wait for that to finish. Okay, that looks like it's done. Let's go ahead and clear this out and just go ahead and try and run this. So let's run Melisearch just directly from this directory. You can see that that has set up a nice server for us. This is now accessible via an API. Now, the one thing that we need to think about here is the server of this. So you can see this is listening, of course, on localhost and the port here is 7700. So we'll need to use that information when we set our Laravel app up to connect to the right host and the right port. We also need a master key as well, which by default when we are on a local development environment is not set. So it's just set to the string master key. But again, we'll touch on that when we come back in. Now with this set up and running, what we can actually do is open this up in our browser. So you can see here that we are now booted into the web interface for Millisearch. Now, of course, there are no documents in here. There are no indexes either. So we don't have a drop down here that we can start to test with. But once we do start to index documents into Millisearch, we'll actually be able to type here and see a list of the results. So that's a really nice touch to Millisearch that allows us to see exactly what is indexed locally. So we don't need to guess or directly hit the API. Okay, we've got Millisearch set up and running. We're actually gonna close this off because we're gonna open this up in the same directory that we're working in. And I'll talk about why that is a little bit later, but let's jump over to the next part, get a fresh Laravel project set up, get Laravel Scout pulled in, and then we can start indexing some data.